Hello everyone, and today what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing of uh, brake parts because I need new brakes and I got a really good deal on them, so uh, we're going to unbox them. So let's have a look here. First ones, we'll start with the pads. These are the front pads here. And they're Brembo, and if you have a look, it says Premium Ceramic. And I'll give you the part number in case you want to know. It's right there. It's uh, P44023 and like November. Okay, and these are for the 2010 Range Rover Sports Supercharged. So let's have a look and see what's inside. This is my, actually the first time I've ever bought Brembo products because I've never had Brembo brakes. And it's kind of cool. They give you a neat little sticker and they give you brake pad lubricant. How many products come with lubricant? Eh, we'll get to that later. Anyways, so we got the sticker, we got the lubricant, and have a look at the pads. This is kind of nice. The pads are, they come in wrapped in fancy paper with a fancy elastic. And check these out. These are kind of nice actually. So that's what ceramic pads look like right there. And they have a nice backing plate right there with red, Brembo. It's kind of nice. So those are the front pads. I don't like that. I'm surprised. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised that I got Brembo's for the front. Um, because this deal saved me a lot of money. And just to give you an idea of how much money I saved, the Land Rover dealership was charged, wanted to charge me something like $2,200, around $2,200 for front and rear pads and rotors with the wear sensors. And that's a lot of money. And I'm like, okay, well, let's see if we can get them cheaper. So I called a buddy of mine who knows some people. And basically, he was able to get me a really, really good deal. Saved me over 60%. So I'm pretty happy about that. And to give you an idea how much I paid, it was $820 Canadian. Now you compare that to $2,200. And uh, you do the math. That's a pretty smoking deal. Okay, so these for the back, for the rear, we've got the rear pads. These are tier W rear pads. And the part number right here, again, for the 2010 Range Rover Sport Supercharged, it's uh, GDB1824. Okay, and they're pretty nice. They're not bad. Now, these are not ceramic, I'm pretty sure these are metallic. So you will get a little bit of brake dust, or a lot of bit, I don't know. And that's what they look like. They have a nice backing plate. They're actually not bad. TRW does not make uh, crap pads. They make cheaper pads, but they're not all that bad. Uh, they're pretty good, actually. So those are the rear pads. It's nicely packaged. Comes with the bolts. So very nice. I'm pretty impressed with that. So let's have a look at the brake discs. The brake discs are kind of cool. Brembo, so for the back, I've got Brembo. This is kind of funny. I've got Brembo brakes for the back and uh, brake discs for the back. And for the front, I've got Zimmerman brake discs or rotors, as some people like to call them. And these are the Brembos. So they're kind of nice. It's, uh, it's got a painted, it's got a painted uh, part here. And I'm guessing this is where the hub goes. This is the hub for the for the brake shoes, for the e-brake thing. And one of the things that I'm looking for when I look at uh, something like rotors is how well and how smooth everything is. Because I don't know a lot about metal or brake parts or how brake discs are supposed to be made, what makes a brake disc a really good brake disc. But I do know that when you have smoother surfaces and things are machined better, 
they distribute stress a lot more evenly and therefore are more durable. So they last longer and they can hold up to more abuse. So with that in mind, if you have a look at the, the vents here, smooth, painted so it's protected, protected against corrosion, it's good. Versus some of the other things that I've seen online. I've seen some, some of the parts, uh, some, of the, um, some of the rotors, they come from China or they come from um, less expensive uh, factories, factories that make less expensive rotors. And uh, it's forged and there's no coating on them. And you can see that it's, that, it's, uh, that it's forged. It hasn't been finished on the inside. Nothing's been done. Okay, these, maybe it's forged, but it's, like, let's say it is. It's got a good coating of paint on it to hide all that. So it makes it look nice. And my guess is that this is a pretty good quality part. All right. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I believe the part number on this, I don't know if you can see it, just this is a this is a quartz countertop so we don't want to really break that um, I don't know if you can see it but it is the you have the uh, the uh, letters and numbers here I believe the part number is eight eight seven five three one but there's a few other parts and stuff here and I believe these are the specs so minimum thickness 17 millimeters and uh, the thickness on this, uh, I don't know, it's something. I can look it up and I'll put it in the description if, if, uh, if you're interested. So that's the rear rotor, all right? I'm not gonna bother unboxing the other one because it's exactly the same. And I'm guessing I'll get, I'd get comments on it saying, it's exactly the same. So why are you doing it? All right, now this is, this is the interesting part. Okay, these are Zimmerman rotors. And I did my research online uh, regarding the quality of Zimmerman. And uh, my contact told me that uh, Zimmerman makes all of the OEM parts for the uh, German, for the German manufacturers. So BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Mercedes, Zimmerman makes all the brake parts for, uh, for those guys. So, I'm guessing German, good stuff. Let's have a look. <laughs> the funny thing about this is that it's, it's, it's like, you're supposed to open it like this versus flipping something over or, but it's glued like crazy so it doesn't separate. And they did a pretty good job of it. So, we're gonna try and open it here. So while I'm opening it, I just wanna go over something. And my question to everybody is, how do you feel about buying aftermarket versus going straight to the dealership and buying their parts. Would you rather buy their parts from the dealership um, or would you rather look for good aftermarket parts? I myself, I prefer to research the shit out of everything and then make a decision. I tend to slide a little bit more towards going to the dealership, but when dealerships give you an insane, an insane uh, quote as to how much you need to spend for the parts, and then you go, wait a minute, it makes you think, you know, wait a minute, that's not right. Uh, let's see what's out there. Let's see how much it costs. So when you go from $2,200 Canadian to $820 Canadian. That's a huge difference. So, in this case, maybe you can see why I chose to go aftermarket as opposed to uh, going straight to the dealership. Now, this to me looks like a good quality rotor. One thing I know about Zimmerman 
um, that I researched online was that is that their rotors are zinc coated. So that means what that means is that it doesn't have any oil or anything like that. Okay, when you put them on, everybody says you know you want to wipe them down, take the oil off because there's a protective coating to keep it from corroding. And uh, and when you have a part that's zinc coated, when you have rotors that are zinc coated like this one right here, you don't have any oil or protective coating because you don't have to worry about corrosion. Uh, as far as I know, zinc doesn't rust. So, it's, corro it's protected all the way through. So what this means is that A, you don't have to use brake parts cleaner uh, or brake cleaner and spray it and then wipe down the rotor, okay? I would do it, I would still do it because A, it takes seconds, it's, it's not very long, it's, you know, it doesn't take very long to do, it's easy to do, and, uh, and B, because you're taking off all the dirt, all the dust, and everything, you really want a pristine surface uh, that's, uh, that's, that's making contact with the brake pads, because the less you contaminate those pads, the better stopping power you're going to have, okay? Um, this is kind of interesting. There's an indentation here, all right? And then there is probably one somewhere else. And it doesn't look like there is. Okay, so it's just that indentation. My guess is that it's because it's for balancing. So when they make these brake parts, when they make rotors, obviously you need a balanced rotor. Okay, they don't come out of the uh, forging thing perfect and balanced, so they'll spin it, they'll spin the crap out of it. Some machine will tell you you need to take a little bit off here. This is all robotically done, automatically, computer stuff, and they'll shave off wherever they need to. So, well balanced, and that's very, very good. I'm pretty impressed with this. Now, here is the numbers right here. I don't know if you can see it. Again, crap lighting. So it says minimum thickness 31 millimeters. So it's pretty thick. Made in Germany. I like that. Versus made in China. Whereas Trump would say China. And 431. I don't know what that means. The part number I believe is either 5212 or 949. Seven zero, but uh, I'm pretty impressed with this. This looks like a good quality part. I mean, it, I'm pretty happy with it. And it comes with, ooh, it comes with a thing that says Zimmerman. Ooh, so I guess you put it in here and it makes it look nice and pretty. That's kind of cool. All right, and these are. These are kind of like, yeah, it comes with instructions. That's cool. Instructions. Who needs instructions? We're men. Famous last words. This I found really, really funny. All right, so I'll put that back here. Cover it up. Nice. This I found really, really funny. It says, Aktun Shatel et halt nur ein Scheibe. And it just means attention and box contains only one disc. Duh. <laughs> Fine. Anyways, um, tell me what you think. Uh, biggest thing, would you, do you prefer to buy from the dealership and have that peace of mind? And does that peace of mind cost you, are you willing to pay you know, an exorbitant amount of money for that peace of mind, knowing that you have the same parts on your car that came from the factory. Uh, for me, obviously, you do the math. I, I believe we, I believe you can go to the dealership for some stuff, or you should go to the dealership for some stuff, but not absolutely everything. Okay. So uh, also, I'd like to see in the comments if uh, if any of you have any opinions. What do you think of Zimmerman rotors versus uh, versus OEM rotors? Now I know that for the dealership, when uh, Land Rover puts the rotors on, they're not zinc coated. 
they're just, you know, they're just the steel rotors. Okay? There's no zinc coating, there's no nothing. Steel rotors, that's how they go on, and, and that's pretty much it. All right, I think these might be a little bit better, but I don't know, we're going to find out. So, thanks for watching. If there's anything else you'd like to see, any other videos you'd like to see, please put it in the comments below and let me know what you think, okay? If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Obviously, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but uh, hopefully we'll get more thumbs up than down. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.